Welcome to the Teleprompter app tutorial. There is a lot to cover, so let's get started. Let's click it from the start menu, and give it a few seconds until it fully launches. Next, let's click the full screen button, so that it covers the whole screen. As you can see, the script box can be dragged and moved to any location within the app window. It can also be hidden or displayed via this small switch, for convenience. The buttons along this top bar turn the teleprompter app into a real-time video editor. But more on those, shortly. Let's click the settings button, and make sure the right camera is selected. You don't need to touch the resolution and frame rate menus. Let's also make sure that the right microphone is selected. Next, let's select the right folder where we want the produced video files to be saved. Let's enter a pre-recording delay of 4 seconds. Let's enable horizontal mirroring. And now, let's import some content for our script by selecting a file. As soon as the file is processed, it is displayed sentence by sentence for easy editing. Let's click the highlighted button to make the editor go away, and to transfer the content to the script box. The app can also import content from an online source. Just type or paste the URL, and click Extract. And proceed with editing the content as before. Next, let's resize the script box, and change its opacity, through the sliders along north, west, and south. Other properties, such as color and font size, can be defined by clicking the button on the southeast. Clicking the play button initiates scrolling so that it can be adjusted using the slider along the east edge. Scrolling varies from almost zero, to too fast to read. Just choose a rate that feels comfortable. Clicking the play button again will reset the script to the beginning. Now, let's add an intro video. This can be a video file saved on your computer, or one of the predefined videos. Always click Save Changes when choosing a predefined video. Next, let's add an intro image. Double click on the image editor to launch a file explorer, and to select an image. This advanced image editor allows you to add text, brush strokes, and other visual effects to the image. You can control the presentation of the text in many ways. This may not be the best artistic design, but it illustrates the power of this editor. When done, always click save at the top of the editor, otherwise your work will be lost. Also, Enter a duration in seconds, and click Save Changes. Let's use the same button to add a logo to our video. In the flyout that pops into view, check the logo checkbox, and configure the logo icon. Click Save Changes. And now, Let's add some background audio by clicking the audio button. Let's see what we have so far, by clicking the preview button in the bottom row.
Clicking the preview button again makes the preview screen go away. Now let's click the recording button. Notice how the timer down counts from the value entered in settings, and how scrolling begins, not right away, but after a minor delay. It's important to remember that the script box is only visible to you, and will not be visible to those viewing the video. Now let's pause the video. Let's add some custom video to our composition. Whatever is added during the middle of the recording, will display as a little thumbnail within the main video. The location of the thumbnail, can be specified by clicking Choose Location, and checking the appropriate checkboxes. And let's resume recording. Let's add some more video thumbnails, this time, to demonstrate the strobe effect. Don't forget to click Save Changes. Click Resume Recording, once again. When finished reading the script, click Pause, and click Stop. Finally, let's add some outro video to our composition. And now, let's preview the complete video. At this point, the composition can be rendered to a video file. The end result file can be saved as an MP4, AVI, or WMV file type. When the progress bar ends, the generated video file can be found under the folder selected in settings, and is ready to be uploaded. Clicking the clear button, deletes the composition, and returns the top bar to the intro state. You can now produce a new video file.